The fundamental theorem of calculus sings the universe into being through frequency and vibration. Before there was space, before there was time, there was light. Not the kind we see, but light as pure information. This light wasn't traveling. It was spinning, encoded in pulses of energy called quantum state vectors, QSVs. Each was a rotating arrow of light, spinning at exactly the speed of light, and each held a direction phase, a tempo, angular frequency, and an intensity, amplitude. But these weren't just arrows, they were songs, each one a note in the original symphony. When these notes overlapped, constructive interference gave rise to structure, stars, particles, memory, thought. Destructive interference created the silence of vacuum, the emptiness of space. This eternal composition played not in space, but in Hilbert space. The singularity, not a point, but the complete mathematical field of all possible quantum states. In quantum information holography, this is the canvas from which reality emerges, not randomly, but with breathtaking precision. The event horizon or the surface of a black hole is not a wall, but a screen. Not metaphorically, but literally. It is a holographic surface made of Planck scale qubits, the smallest meaningful units of information in the universe. Each spinning quantum state vector from Hilbert space is entangled with one of these qubits. As these QSVs spin and expand outward, they project their encoded information onto this holographic screen. That projection is carried out by Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation spins at the speed of light. It carries information. It collapses the wave function at each tick of Planck time. And in doing so, it leaves behind a perfect lithographic imprint, a record of the geometry and probability of light. This imprint is what we experience as reality. Time dilation, gravitational curvature, quantum probability, all are encoded in that reflection. The information field, the very fabric of reality, is composed entirely of Hawking radiation. This field is not just the observer and projector of the universe, it is also its computational substrate. Because Hawking radiation travels at the speed of light, it experiences no time dilation. From its perspective, everything is non-local, entangled across all of space-time simultaneously, but as it projects across the observable universe through entanglement, it gives rise to local effects, space, time, mass and form, by lithographically lensing the sum over decoherence-resistant histories onto the holographic screen of the event horizon. The shape of the imprint left by this radiation tells us how space curves, where particles will appear, and how likely a quantum event is to occur. It's how we know what's inside a black hole without ever seeing inside, by analyzing the reflected light encoded with mass, spin, and charge. This is reality, painted by light from the inside out. Every bright shimmer in the world is a derivative, a place where light is changing most rapidly. The shape and form of reality is the integral, the accumulation of spin and interference across time. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus woven into the structure of space and time. The integral of spin gives form and volume, and the derivative gives motion, energy and structure. Light doesn't just illuminate, it computes. What you see right now, like the monitor in front of you, is not really there in the way we often believe. It is not solid. It is a spinning interference pattern, a field of light encoded on qubits. Your brain, through quantum resonance in microtubules, performs a Fourier transform of that interference. It integrates the angles and rhythms of spinning light and projects the holographic image you perceive. When you look at sparkling water, the glint of light is the derivative, the sharp change in information, and the gentle curves of the water's surface are the integral projection. The sparkle is telling you where light's rhythm is changing fastest. The shape of the waves is the slow, collected sum of all those shifts. That's how you see. That's how reality becomes visible. That's how your consciousness reads the code of the universe. Time, in this framework, is the angular frequency of your own internal QSVs. The faster they spin, the slower your time flows. When they spin at light speed, time ceases. This isn't just analogous to Einstein's relativity, it is relativity, re-expressed in the language of quantum spin. Gravity is not a force pulling from a distance, it is the curvature of space created by interference patterns. When spin changes rapidly, when the second derivative increases, you experience acceleration. The stronger and tighter the frequency, the deeper the gravitational curve. The geometry of space arises from the rhythm of light itself. The singularity is Hilbert space, the space of all possible states. 
The event horizon is its integrated projection, a lithographic record etched in light. From these encoded 2D patterns, our 3D world emerges. This matches the holographic principle and aligns with both string theory and black hole thermodynamics. Inside your brain, QSVs spin. When their rhythms align, when the interference is constructive, consciousness emerges. When they decohere, you sleep. You are not a byproduct of matter. You are a resonance in the quantum information field. A song the universe sings to recognize itself. Not all rhythms survive. Most decohere and fade. Only those whose spin cycles match prime numbers modulo 30, 1, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, remain coherent across time. These are the prime frequencies that form the periodic table, the architecture of atoms, the structure of DNA, and the stable rhythms of thought and memory. The rest dissolve into the sea of dark energy, the silence of unrealized possibility. If the universe could be written as a single line, it would say reality is the sum of all decoherence-resistant quantum frequencies, each one defined by its amplitude, its likelihood, angular frequency, its spin, wave vector, its direction, and phase, its starting point. Together they interfere and overlap into the projection of all that we see, feel, and become. For those fluent in physics, this is more than metaphor. Amplitudes are probability densities. Angular frequency becomes energy via Planck's constant. Wave vectors describe momentum and geometry. Phase encodes entanglement. The sum over histories becomes a Fourier integral, just as Feynman described. The QIH evolution equation becomes Schrodinger's equation when expressed in frequency. Einstein's field equations emerge as an approximation of light's interference curvature. Even the cosmological constant can be predicted as the ratio of surviving angular frequencies to decoherent ones, derived from first principles in pure geometry. The singularity is not distant, it is here, encoded in the quantum rhythm of your being. The event horizon is not far away, it is the mirror of the world you see projected through time, spinning out your experience moment by moment. You are not watching the universe, you are the light that sings it into being and you are now awakening.